175, New York. We have some problems over here right now. We might have a hijack over here, two of them. You old Mr. Ryan, uh, listen, on an airplane, that's been hijacked. And things will go well. I'm looking to just want you to know I absolutely love you. I want you to do good. So happy to find uh, Same to my parents and everybody. And I just totally love you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, babe. Hey, what is going on everybody? Well, welcome back to the channel and thank you for coming back to check out the content. Listen, today we're going to be talking about blue crayfish or blue crawfish or blue crawdads or whatever you want to call them. Crayfish, crawfish, crawdads, it does not matter. Swamp shrimp, I, I don't know. There's many different names for them, but we're specifically talking about freshwater crayfish today and specifically blue ones at that. What we are not talking about is we are not talking about the creature from down under that you see right here, which is known as as the Australian Yabby, also known as the Freshwater Lobster, also known as the Blue Lobster, also known as an extremely invasive species here in the state of Texas as well as in Florida. These are terrible creatures for our local ecosystems and therefore they have been outlawed in our state. You cannot get them any longer. Down south in Brownsville, Texas, which sits on the border of the Rio Grande that separates Mexico from the United States, they have actually found a population along a two-mile stretch of these Australian yabbies and they are absolutely destroying the ecosystem. I ask each one of you to be diligent. If you go out and you buy one of these creatures, make sure that it is in fact what we are putting into our setup today and that is the blue crawfish. This is a genetic mutation of a regular crawfish that comes out of the Everglades in Florida. It is completely a native crawfish and it is not going to wreak havoc on the local ecosystem. So once again, the diligence is on you. Make Make sure you're buying the right species make sure it's not invasive and for sure if you do have to get rid of it dispose of it properly and not by just dumping your aquarium in a local water source because that is the number one reason that we have invasive but with that today we're going to be setting up an epic pool pond in order to breed these electric blue crayfish crawfish crawdads so with that let's get into this today we are going to be starting with a blue pool and as you probably have seen i have done many different things with these blue pools we are breeding shrimp we are breeding goopies today we're actually going to be setting this up to breed some blue electric crayfish so let's go ahead and get out of here and go pick up some supplies that we're going to need for this build all right guys well we're here at our third favorite place in the world and that is lowe's and well what we got to do is pick up some lava rock and lava rock is going to be our base level substrate for this entire enclosure in fact, it is going to be our only substrate. So that's all we need here at Lowe's today. This is going to be such a simple, simple setup that anybody can do at home with just a few basic supplies. Let's get back to the house and go ahead and start setting up this pool pond. So we're going to use a simple sponge filter. These sponge filters are nice because you can articulate each one of the sponges independently to be able to put it in a place that it normally can't go, those types of things. These things work perfect in these little pool setups. You can pick these up at freshwaterscrub.com. Make sure that you use the code CRAWFISH for 10% off your order. We have these for up to 10 gallons and then we have them also for up to 55 gallons. So we're going to go ahead and drop this right down inside of this setup here this thing just like that. We're going to throw some of this lava rock on top of it just to keep it held down. So now that we have some driftwood in here and we have all of our lava rock kind of set up, we want to make a couple of high points, like really high points. We're going to start with kind of here in the middle. And the reason for this is, is these little crawfish are going to want to get out of the water as well. We need to make a little bit of a terrestrial area in a couple of spots. This is going to make this water super dirty and super murky, but that's okay. We just want to make sure that wherever we put these, 
They're not too close to the side for them to jump out. Well, we're gonna start by dechlorinating this water. And we're gonna do that by using a little bit of our favorite, which is API Aqua Essential, which will completely dechlorinate this water. Now that the water is dechlorinated, we're also gonna add a little bit of Stress Zyme Plus. This helps get the cycle going in this setup. It'll allow the bacteria to start to colonate which does a fantastic job. Bacteria colonization inside of lava rock is fantastic. It is a great biological filtration media, as well as we have our sponge filter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and instantaneously cycle this setup by simply taking one of these sponges off here and replacing it with an already pre-cycled sponge. Bacteria lives inside of your biological media, not in your water column. So by getting a sponge that's already cycled, we can cycle this setup immediately and go ahead and add stuff to it. So with that guys, this setup is actually about 80% done. We got some other things that we wanna to add to this, like some plants and things like that. But first we need to go ahead and get out and get our little blue electric crawfish for this setup. We may pick up some plants and we may pick up some dither fish too. Don't know. Let's go check this out and see what we get. Wait a minute, do you know how long I've been looking for African dwarf frog? Well, I think I've got my next video idea. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. If you look here, this is the tanks full of these little electric blue crawfish that we're gonna be taking home today. And the guy here is an absolute master at breeding these things. He has told me all about it how to do it, how to set up the enclosure, as you can see. So we will be taking one type of dither fish as well. Not really sure yet if it's gonna be gambusia or if it's gonna be a feeder guppy, but it will be one of the two. We'll figure that out once we get home, but we're gonna grab some plants as well, and we're gonna get out of here, and we're gonna get our little blue crawfish back home and into their new setup. So I will see you back at the house. All right, guys, well, we are back at the house and the setup is going, the sponge filter's going. It is time to get fish into this setup. So we do have a box over here with fish in it. I told you that I wasn't sure what I was gonna get, gambusia or feeder guppies, but we will look at those in a minute. We also went ahead and picked up some java ferns. These are perfect. We can just float these in here. We're not gonna actually plant them. Now, granted, you can pick these up at freshwaterscrub.com. Use the code crawfish for 10% off all of your orders but these crawfish will absolutely love having some live plants in here we're gonna add one more live plant to this real quick we are gonna add a nice big old mat of christmas moss another thing you can pick up at freshwater scrub we'll just drop this throughout this has great beneficial bacteria in it these crawdads will actually eat this as well it is a great great plant so we now have this in there let's go ahead and acclimate our little fish we're going to go ahead and add these gambusia right into this setup. These are also known as mosquito fish. They're a live bearer. They will do fantastic in here. Keep the mosquito larva completely under control as well. And now for the big thing.
right guys this thing is set up we put some food in here for uh, these little crawfish there is one right there there is another one right there there's one hiding up underneath the filter right there and then we have a fourth one who is right there everything is looking great the gambusia are looking great the plants look great in here everything looks fantastic so make sure that you are subscribed and you have on your notification bell so you don't miss the updates on these guys but these things are super super cool and the fact that these are a non-invasive species and hey let's try to populate some non-invasives here in the state of texas before we end up like florida so with that guys hopefully you went on to enjoy this video hopefully you're enjoying the content if you happen to like this type of content make sure you drop a like on the video make sure you're subscribed turn on that notification bell check out freshwaterscrub.com for all your aquatic plant needs as well as some christopher scott merch and use the code crawfish for 10 percent off your entire order make sure you follow us on instagram as well as facebook links to both are down below and i'm truly grateful i love you guys and with that we will see you next time